got a little wipeout back there. Uh oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm I was right. wondering what happened. My foot slips off the pedal and then it gets caught. My off the edge. Yeah. What's up? Nice. I was just watching. <laughs> looking that it actually is doing it. Yeah. You just gotta be okay with speed and that compression. Yeah. There's nothing technical about it. Whew. It'll get you for a second though when you're not ready for it. <laughs> yeah, man. You got, you got at least, you got like at least 120 on the front, don't you? 160. 100? Oh, 100. oh, him? Yeah. I don't know. I, mean, I don't see it compressing more than 100. In the Woo! bottom, do you? Yeah! I mean, my man did it on a rigid, so. <laughs> I, want, I wanted to. Ryan's riding a rigid, so you should be fine. Come in! Third. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go, go, go. Whoa. Yeah, it does have a little drop. Is uh Charles dropping? It might be for this one. Well, it might be that one. Here it is. Oh, I can't. Oh, I think you're supposed to drop from the other side. Yeah, let's drop drop from the other side. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. Right here. Hold on. Hold. Hold. Hey, hold. He's coming. Right. Yeah, that's the easier way to come through. Yeah. Right here. I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna pop off that right side like Tim was pointing to. Yeah. Drop it! Here you go. I'll watch you go. Okay. Get a better running. Clear, coming in. That's easier. <laughs> it's easier coming from that way. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. No, go ahead. Uh, give yourself a probably a, a 10 foot run in. I like it out here. It's fun. Cool. You're not from here? No, I'm, no I'm, I live, I live in, in Georgetown. Georgetown. I've never ridden here. Yeah, me either. Drop it in on that side. Got a pedal on the way up on that. <laughs>
<laughs> it's like butter. It's like, I'll just walk off here. <laughs> Dude, 64 years old, riding a hardtail with a Suntour fork. That's crazy. Doing everything we're doing on our high-end bikes. Yeah, he is. You should see him do his wheelies. Right. It was it was high end before Rock Shock and Marzuki. Nice. A little bit far to the left, didn't you? So I got pulled into this the first time blind at dusk on my second ride after having knee surgery before I knew I had strength in my knee for it. Just feeling my weedies and thinking, oh this is no problem. I got down this side and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm gonna tell him. Give me about five, ten feet. Drop in. Yeah, a little bit more speed, I think. I think I'm anticipating that G out on that first one. Yeah. And it's not. Yeah. I think for me, I'm anticipating that that final down before yeah. you start coming up. Yeah. So, that compression. Know. If you you want to like keep yourself balanced, because if you get too forward, I think too I'm back. Too far forward, and it just slow, it kills it as soon as yeah. you start going up. Yep. Are you brave? Are you speed to get up that other side? Start right here. Let me spin. I'll, I'll chase you in. Okay. All right, let's go. Drop. Drop it. I got it. You're mine. Woo. Woo. My foot came unclipped, and it was, that wasn't secure. So I'm like, oh, hold. Pedaling. I downshifted and my pedal slipped or my foot slipped. I hear you in right now. Oh, oh man, you're way up high. I, I dropped right right before that lip so I had climbing climbing gear to get up here. Well, what you need to do is maybe run into it with me a little faster so you don't need so much. I was gear. I was testing it to see what it is. That G out's not bad at all on that uh, side. If you can avoid those roots, right Yeah. Yep. Yeah, like butter. All right, stay away from those brakes. That's always a great way. Hey, I know, right? It's gonna be so weird and sketch, but you <laughs> we'll go over those roots, um, and it's gonna bring you on the, the right side of that little roll, that little dip right there. Okay. You'll come on the on the right side of it, and your angle will be straighter. You'll carry more momentum. Where that where it looks like the Eric, yeah, do the right that, side. See how that works. Big giant ass. Well, it's in that machine where it doesn't. Right, yeah, it's like drag line. There's nothing really they could do with this. In the shape, like, funneled like that and everything. That's the line I rode, and it actually felt smoother on there than it did the other way. Because you don't hit that hole at the bottom. I went right where you were at, and then came down past that root. The left of it. Yeah. Well, wait. Which route are you talking about? Oh, no. You're threading the needle between that lower route and the one that's higher up. Yeah, straight down. He looks so sketchy. <laughs> now Tim's gonna hurt himself. <laughs> Nobody's gonna hurt themselves. I almost lost it there in the middle. We're all going home. You got a little front heavy, didn't you? Yeah. I think I was anticipating the come back up. And and when you and that's what I found on when I went that way, you miss that little G out section, so it makes it smoother. You don't feel it as much. That. Uh, is that it? Yeah. How'd that feel? Eh. eh. Smoother or? Kind of smooth, but that one that one root comes out of the ground and goes back in. <laughs> if you hit that thing with the front tire, you're going down. Well, that's why you have full suspension. 
Oh wait, <laughs> we're getting you on a better bike someday, Tim. <laughs> Hell, my front suspension's worn out, dude. Oh yeah, you need a new fork. <laughs> so you see the look of the face? Like, I got on his. I got on his. You did that full rigid, didn't you? Good, Ryan. You pedal, guys. Go ahead of me. Eric, you want to go? He's talking. He lost the spot. <laughs> <laughs>